Hello everyone, welcome to AnyLogic Tips. Today I want to show you how you can use option lists in your parameters and actually make them useful in the model setup in the cloud. So what am I talking about? Well, if you have an option list in your model, obviously you can assign your parameters to use that option list. So in my model, I've created a little option list with three options, A, B, C. And I'm setting up my model with a parameter that is driven from that option list. So it's of type option list. That's all nice and well. And if I would configure my experiment locally, the simulation experiment, I could uh, choose what that should be here. Now, if I upload that to the cloud, to the AnyLogic cloud, the problem is that in the experiment setup in the cloud, it's either not going to show up or we're not going to have a nice little um, radio button here with the three options. And that's what I'm going to show you today how to do that. It's a little trick. So let's set up our parameter to be of type optionist. Let's give it uh, a default value as you typically do. Option A in our case. Well, let's make it option B so it's, it's more obvious. And the trick is first for you to set the control type to be of type radio button. So that forces any logic to display this parameter as a radio button. And now we actually need to define the radio button. So you have to manually say option A represents the value ol options dot option A. Do the same with option B and option C. And now you've set up that radio button. So now you can see in the offline simulation experiment, you already have that little radio button setup, which is nice. And now all you have to do is in your web cloud run configuration, you just drag in that parameter, uh, specify what it should look like, and then let's upload that to the cloud. Luckily, this model is very small, so it shouldn't take us too long. And now we have the model in the cloud. And now in the experiment setup, you have my options. And now you can nicely choose between those three options. Whichever you choose will actually set the parameter value to the value that you've specified for each individual option. So make sure these are in sync. And that's what your parameter, that's the value your parameter is going to take when main initializes. So that's how you get that done. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.